So what we're going to look at today is taking a slightly more complex script from the community library on TradingView and turning that into an automated strategy. What we'll start off with is the SSL hybrid script. Uh, this is from Mikkel00. Let's add that to the chart. As with some other types of indicators, this one does have locations where we can tie buy and sell triggers to. If we were to right click on the chart and take a look at alerts, we would see that this indicator has several alerts set up for baseline buy entries and sell, um, exits, and so forth. So if we wanted to tie buy and sell alerts to this indicator, it'd be pretty simple. We'd make sure that we add an alert. And first we have to go grab our webhook URL. Let's head over to the dashboard and traders post. I'm going to go ahead and create a strategy for this. Then I'm going to subscribe to the strategy. I'll choose both here for sides so that I can do both buy and sells. And now my subscription is enabled. So I can go to my strategy, copy my webhook URL, and paste that within the webhook URL field in TradingView. Then under settings, I want to make sure that I'm choosing this indicator, and I want to choose baseline buy entry to send buy orders. I'll do that once per bar and extend that forever. I can go to the documentation in order to grab the JSON payload code that I need in order to trigger the buy, or I can just go to the webhook URL page and grab a sample here. I paste it in the message field. Ticker will be replaced with a ticker of the chart that I'm on. It's gonna send a buy signal at the closing price. And then I go ahead and create the alert. Let's do the same thing for sales. Once per bar, make sure I switch that to a sell. We'll leave that open-ended. In notifications, I make sure that it's setting to the right webhook URL and create. So now, whenever the buy signal is triggered from this indicator, a buy will happen and a sell as well. Now, the default way I have it set up right now in Traders Post is that when a sell order occurs, if there is already a, a buy position on, it'll close that buy position and open up the sell position and then vice versa for sell. I could see that if I head over to my subscriptions, click on edit, the option here for site swapping is still active. So this means that buy and sell positions will reverse each other. But what if I don't wanna do that? What if I want to use the other signals of the indicator in order to exit the position? Well, I can do that as well. If we take a look at the alerts, we'll notice that there are alerts here for exit buy and exit sell. So I'm gonna go ahead and create an exit buy that will be tied to the same webhook URL. I'm gonna step in once per bar for always. And I'm gonna head over to my documentation in order to see what I need to do in order to exit a position. So if I wanna exit bullish, I could send an exit signal. So I'm gonna head back over, paste, and I'll type exit. And I'll make sure I use the sentiment flat parameter. Because if I just exit without sentiment flat, it'll reverse the position. I'll copy that and create the alert, making sure I do the same on the other side. Now my alerts have been created and I have a strategy set up with this in Traders Post. Okay, now let's say I wanna take this one step further. Let's say I don't wanna create four alerts every single time I want to run this uh, strategy on different tickers. Well, I can make some modifications now to the code of that indicator in order to beef it up, to give it some extra alert capabilities. Now for that, I need to copy the script and make it my own. Now we're gonna make modifications to this code, which will be a little bit more advanced, but if you follow along, you should be able to do it. Let's go ahead and click the curly braces to access the source code. You'll notice here that it says that the script is read only, and we have to create a working copy in order to have our own that we can modify. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 
I also noticed that the script is in version four. Currently, PineScript is in version five. And it's a quick tool I can use here at the top right in order to convert this to five, just to make my life easier. And I'm gonna name this script strategy. This is gonna convert from four to five. And we're done. That step's only needed if the script is in an older version. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna hide the original script from the chart, and I'm gonna add my own. I click and add to chart. There we go. We have a copy of our own script there. If we take a look at the settings, we wanna add alert fields to the script settings so that we can do it all within the indicator right here. So I need four fields, four alerts. Now there's a number of ways you can go around doing this. The simplest way is to use the alert function. So over here, if we take a look, we'll notice that this script has all the alerts that we saw before at the bottom of the script, specifically baseline buy and sell here. So I can say that if this condition is true for baseline buy, and that'll be this first part, I wanna go ahead and create an alert. And here I'll need a message for that alert. We'll populate that in a second. Let's do the same thing for the cell. This is a condition for cell right here. Now we need a variable here that we're gonna be using for, for this. So we'll call it alert message buy. This one we'll call alert message cell. You'll notice that there's red squiggly lines that show up underneath because we haven't told the script what this does, how to get this message. We can do that here by add in alert message by, and we're gonna say that that equals an input string, which is just letters, characters. And we're gonna say this is the by message. And we'll put it in its own group called alerts. And we'll do the same thing for cell. Now when I save this and take a look at my chart, it'll update. I can see in the settings of the script that there's two new fields at the bottom here, buy message and sell message. Here's where I would paste the JSON payload that we've done before in the alert messages. But I'm noticing here that it's one small little area. So let's increase that a little bit by switching from string to text area. So I'm gonna head down here and I'm gonna duplicate these guys. If I take a look up here, I could see that exit buy is used in this condition, which is when the close price crosses over. And the cell uses this condition, which I can see here. I, I click OK. And now when I add an alert and choose my indicator, I have this additional drop down that says, Hey, instead of just, instead of using the alerts that are there before that were programmed inside of the original script, I have this additional option that says any alert function call, right? We'll recognize alert as the function that we just added. So when I do that and I make sure the messages are sent to webhook URL and I create, now I have one alert that was created instead of having to create four, which makes it much easier if I wanted to add this alert to different charts again and again and again. And that's it. That's how you can upgrade a script on TradingView in order to generate alerts for your trading strategy.